Man, I cannot believe that they said this. Expect more of this until 2023. And this is the time for change. So question is, what is the biggest problem of America? Now, I'm pretty sure you guys have thought in your head right about now, but then there's the next question that comes, which is when are the next elections? Now, you see the elections, they're usually a time for change. And if people don't see a change, they don't see a positive change happening, they tend to pour out their frustration with their ballots. Now, I've already read your comments. A lot of people are like, hey, no check, no vote. I feel you. I get it. However, you know, we're also seeing government officials saying that the midterm elections may be under attack. Now, there's always, you know, one state that has announced that they won't be able to release their results on the same day as the elections. You guys remember previous elections, right? Like you almost know for a fact who's going to win the election, but then there's like one state, it's like Florida. Oh, well, we're going to recount these votes or, you know, there's some delay for why they can't confirm who the actual winner is, right? But, you know, it's a little questionable. Do you think that votes may be com- compromised this year? Now, we heard from Trump in previous years, you know, questioning the validity of, of, of the votes, who actually won, what's the real count for the votes, but do you think that votes may be compromised this year? Just drop a quick comment, yes or no, down below. I would love to hear from you guys. Also, more layoffs are coming as companies are trying to stay ahead of the economic downturn. And the reason why these companies, you know, these large S&P 500, NASDAQ, Dow Jones, industrial corporations, they're laying off people is because they're concerned these businesses are scared. I mean, many of the banks are scared. This is why a lot of banks are questioning people making withdrawals from their bank accounts. Like, I mean, we've already heard from Wells Fargo shutting down suspicious bank accounts. I mean, like, what the heck is that? Like, seriously? I know you guys have heard that about Wells Fargo, right? Hit me up in the comments down below if you have not heard about that. Now, do you think that many people would stay afloat in this economy if they lost their job tomorrow? Think about it. If you lost your job tomorrow, how long could you survive on your emergency fund? Could you survive another week? Could you survive another month? Would you be good for six months? I mean, I have a feeling like based on the number of people who are living paycheck to paycheck, even six figure income earners making $100,000 a year, they're living paycheck to paycheck. Some people won't even survive two weeks. For your daily dose of the truth when it comes to the US economy, the stock market, fourth stimulus package updates, passive income, social security, and everything that's going on in Washington, DC that affects our families, our lives, and our bank accounts, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Appreciate you guys watching. Appreciate you guys dropping a like for the video. Appreciate that. Also, if you own a home, make sure your home and your family are protected. Get your free home warranty quote. I'll leave a link for you guys in the description down below. There's no risk. It's totally free to get your free home warranty quote and never be caught off guard by another very expensive home repair again. All right. So the talk of the town is November and with a lot hanging in the balance for both Democrats and for Republicans, we're seeing plenty of full court passes from both sides. Now, here's a very important concept that I need to address right off the bat here. So historically, the president's party almost always loses during the midterm elections. Now, it's just what happens. Is it going to happen this year? I don't really know. But things aren't really looking all that bright for President Biden, nor for the Democrats right now. People are pissed off. I, I read the comments every single day. And if your comments are representative of the masses, then it is not looking all that good. Now, President Biden, on the other hand, he's focused on delivering on a few key issues. One of them is abortion. Now, I know it's a very touchy, very controversial subject. I know some people are like, you know, it's a woman's choice. She should make the decision whether or not, you know, whatever she wants to do with her body is her call. Then other people are like, no, a woman shouldn't have a right to choose. That's on y'all. I'm not trying to get into that. Now, I know that, you know, this abortion is definitely a huge concern for many Americans, but should it really still be considered? considered a top priority during these times? I mean, let me rephrase that. During these specific economic times, should it be more about the economy? Should it be more about inflation? I'm just asking. I want to know what you guys think, which is more important to you. Now, if everything was peaceful and if every, you know, if people could afford the cost of living, abortion would probably be at the top of our priorities across the board. But it's not the case right now. Polls are showing that the economy is at the top of our concerns. I mean, how are we supposed to continue to afford our lifestyles, right? I mean, to keep roofs over our heads and food on the table for our families with others who are asking, how are we supposed to afford living? Just living, right? So with that, I have a couple of questions that I think would be be very useful for anyone who's trying to make it through these tough times. What cuts are you willing to take right now so you can afford to live tomorrow? Are you willing to cut out your online subscriptions? Are you willing to cut out Netflix, Hulu, Spotify? I mean, like, 
which expenses don't make sense to you right now and for your family? Like, what could you go without right now so that you could stretch out how long you can survive? Do you need to buy that Starbucks? Or could you just make coffee at home, you know, for a much cheaper price? Maybe go on Amazon and get you a, a nice coffee maker for 40, 50 bucks and then, you know, make your own coffee. One time expense. Well, you have to buy more coffee, but you, you get my drift. You can save a lot of money making your own coffee at home. Now, some may call it penny pinching, but I would call it surviving. Especially if you think about, okay, I don't know how much the average person spends in a Starbucks, for example. Maybe you go to Dunkin' Donuts. I don't know where you get your coffee. Let's just say, and I think out in California, they have this, uh, this I think they call it coffee bean, but let's just say the average person spends $5 a day on coffee. Now, I know some people, they go to Starbucks in the morning on the way to work. Then they go to Starbucks on the lunch break, you know, midday Starbucks or a coffee break. I mean, maybe you don't go to Starbucks. I don't know. Maybe you go to Dunkin' Donuts or some other coffee place. But thing is, is if you spend $5 a day, just think about it. Some people call it pen, penny pinching. I don't think it's that. I think it's smart budgeting. I think it's smart money, smart money habits. But $5 a day for 30 days is $150 a month. Now, if you go twice per day, that is $300 a month in coffee. Now, I think that's a little excessive. Some people's car payments are $300 a month. Some people's car payments is $1,100 a month. It's crazy, but to each his own. I'm just saying, if you're looking to save money, you know there are ways to do it. Now, again, some people call it penny pinching. I call it survival, whatever the case is. The question is, how are you preparing your loved ones? Like, do you have extra food? Are you looking for better ways? ways on how to make money? Are you creating online businesses? Are you uh, setting yourself up with side hustles? Are you doing any type of maybe delivery service, DoorDash, Uber Eats, Uber, Lyft? I mean, there's so many different ways to make money out there and there's ways to make money online even if you don't feel like driving. Some people don't want to necessarily do Walmart Spark to generate income for their family. Maybe they want to do some other type of side hustle, side income opportunity. But the fact of the matter is that there are opportunities that are out there that should get your attention. Drop shipping is a great way to start a small business and move up. You don't have to hold any inventory. You can jump on Shopify, create a free account, start building your email mailing list. You can use MailChimp. I mean, heck, you can use GoDaddy. There's so many different email mailing lists that you, you can set up for very inexpensively. You can actually create a Shopify account and start drop shipping for free because they have free trials. So the thing is, is this. If a stimulus check is sent out, think about how you could utilize part of it. Now, the part that you don't need, of course, right? Don't use the entire thing unless you actually need it, but use part of it to maybe, you know, become a first time entrepreneur. The key is if you're only going to get one more stimulus check, let's say you got another $1,400 stimulus check tomorrow. You got to make this thing last. And the only way to make that stimulus check last is to make it have babies. I know this sounds silly, but imagine you took some of that income, you took some of that stimulus check money. And it, I look at money as seeds and you put these seeds into the ground in the form of starting a business or side hustle. And then it keeps paying you every single month. Can you imagine getting just paid every single month off of you have one effort, you put this upfront effort in and then you forever receive maybe passive income on the back end. And that's how passive income works. A lot of people think, you know, passive income is just free money It's not free money. It's money that you earn passively, but you generally did some type of work up front. Anyway, I've gone into this in previous videos. If you want to learn more about making passive income, drop me a comment down below or look at some of my previous videos on how to make money passively, how to generate passive income, or even how to start side hustles or online businesses. But the fact of the matter is that there are still some places that are utilizing stimulus checks to help us out. And I believe that we should also be using the same stimulus checks to get ourselves ahead of the game. And a lot of people, they don't realize the cycle. I just want to share this information because I wish someone shared the game with me, you know, when I was, you know, getting going. So anyway, it's also, it's going to help that, you know, we develop a second or even a third stream of income. We got to get that cash flow flowing. We got to get the residual and passive incomes built up. That's the only way to get out of this mess that we're in. And we can't trust the government to fix this recession and inflation problem. We have to fix it ourselves. Now, of course it helps if they give us a free check, but what if they don't? That's all I'm saying. We're going to need it. And I mean, just look at this. You got the housing market. It's in disarray. Zillow just confirmed 
confirmed more layoffs. Around 5% of their workforce literally just got cut. Compass and Redfin, they also have been cutting their workforce because the housing market is just crawling at this point. Now, houses are still selling. They're just not moving at the same clip. And as I personally experienced, I expected the Fed to raise interest rates by at least another 75 basis points before the year ends. You know, it's almost assured that there will be less first time home buyers this year and into the future. Bar none, hands down, absolutely. Now, what this means is that there's going to be more renters and this is going to make rental prices go up and up and up because there's going to be so much more demand for available rental property. Now, with our budget, a lot of households will be forced into rental properties and these are likely to, you know, they already cost a fortune, but they're likely to go higher. Even with the promise of a fourth stimulus check, we're still in the dark if it will ever be provided. But just think about what a $2,000 stimulus check could do to change your life today. But again, if you want change, do it with your vote, right? I mean, but Democrats, they seem to be united in calling out problems for the election already. And not just for the midterms, they're going, they're talking about 2024 already. Check this out. Right wing extremists already have a plan to literally steal the next presidential election. And they're not making a secret of it. The right wing controlled Supreme Court may be poised to rule on giving state legislatures, yes, you heard me that correctly, state legislatures the power to overturn presidential elections. Just think, if that happens, the 2024 presidential election could be decided not by the popular vote or even by the anachronistic electoral college, but by state legislatures, many of them Republican controlled. And now look at this tweet from Greg Price, quote, questioning elections when Democrats wins make you a dangerous insurrection. Questioning elections when Republican wins makes you a hero. Those are the rules of the media, end quote. Is this true, though? Is there a double standard going on here? Now, if we go back to history, early votes tend to be made by Democrats, while Republicans usually vote right on the day, right? Now, this makes more sense when you think about how the independent voters may think twice about voting. A poll actually found that 40% of Americans are scared to go out and vote due to intimidation. But then again, there are legal actions that now prohibit that. I'm not exactly sure what's going to happen on November 8th, but I have a gut feeling that this is going to be one of the most interesting and controversial midterm elections to date. Now, to add a little bit more to that, the battle for the Senate has Republicans up 53 to 47. This is getting real interesting here. Now, one state that a lot of people are eyeing is Pennsylvania. Now, I don't know if you guys know what's going on. I mean, even former President Barack Obama is campaigning for John Fetterman there. And it just shows how important it is for the Democrats. Now, here's something that I found online. Now, as of October 21st this year, it seems as if 240,000 unverified ballots have already been sent in for Pennsylvania. Wow. Again, the race between Fetterman and Oz is neck and neck. Now, it could just be a couple of thousand votes that separates them. And they found 240,000 unverified ballots more than two weeks before the election. Now, their acting secretary has essentially, they've actually already announced that people shouldn't expect their voting results by November 8th. They already know that this is not going to be called on time. And they're saying that they should be given a few days. Now, she added that, you know, we must again ask for patience. Official results will be available in a few days. This delay does not mean anything nefarious is happening. It simply means that the process is working as it is designed to to work in Pennsylvania and that the election officials are doing their job to count every single vote, end quote. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave the judgment to you guys again, as I always do. Do you expect manipulations to be done with the midterm elections? Holla at me, holla at your boy. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Now, while you guys are down there, make sure to smash the thumbs up button for the video. Also, if you're brand new to the channel and you want to keep updated with everything that matters to you regarding our economy, regarding your money, definitely subscribe to the channel because if you want the truth you know where to get it i want to thank you guys so much for watching you guys are awesome this is ron i wish you all great health and better days to come and bigger bank accounts and 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 anyway i'll see you on the next one be safe